oil servicing on the GNX system is through the simple half turn cap. You release it by flipping it up and then pulling it out. On the oil servicing cap, there are small three marks to show you basically the last three ports as you service up the engine. Note that there is a seal underneath the oil cap, the seal right here. If the seal is damaged, you need to replace the seal. Also look for any damage to the metal around the seal. In some cases, it has been possible to install the cap and actually capture the lanyard underneath. Such as this. And then when you clamp down on it, you damage the cap, you damage the lanyard. So be aware of the lanyard, be aware of the seal around the cap. Also, you know that if you see red at any time on this latch, it's not latched. Proper latching, down, turned, and all you see is yellow and the lanyard sticking out. You must wait about five to 10 minutes before you can service the engine oil on the GNX engine because the engine has some pressure inside on the system that has to be bled off. Once that pressure's bled off, you can lift the cap, turn the lever, and open for servicing. One thing never to do, never alter the tension on this cap. This nut should be fixed to this assembly. If you find it loose, you need to return it to the vendor to get it correctly tensioned. But this system in here maintains proper tension to maintain proper sealing on this lid. In the oil fill system inside here, on the lower part, which you can't see when it's installed, you have a flapper valve. The flapper valve is intended to prevent any oil loss in the event that somebody fails to install the cap after servicing. However, the flapper valve also has some limitations. When you first go to service, the engine flapper valve may be securely up against this screen inside here. So the first quart of oil you have to pour in slowly in order to get enough gravity in there to open the flapper valve. Do not put anything in here to defeat the flapper valve. This can lead to FOD. This can lead to damage if it's left in here around the ceiling edge. And in the worst case scenario, some people have actually driven this screen out of the assembly into the tank. So do not put anything in here when servicing. Also, when you service this, it is a fill to spill system. You'll notice that there's a scavenge line over here on the other side. Pardon me, a drain line over here. That drain line goes to just at the bottom of the fan case. So you don't want to be too sloppy with that because it will accumulate oil in the bottom of the fan case, creating a bit of a messy situation. Okay, so do not put anything in here to defeat that system and be careful of pouring in the oil slowly. Once that flapper valve has started to open, once you've poured in the oil, the oil will flow better. It's not gonna flow super fast, but it is gonna flow much better. Several improvements have been made in the valve. The actual mesh screen has been redesigned several times to optimize flow, and the valve itself, the flapper valve inside the tank, has been redesigned to optimize flow. And the lanyard on the outside here, this lanyard has been thickened and shortened so there's less likely to get caught under the cap. So if you have an older lanyard like this, you'll see that it's thin. This one happens to have been damaged from being captured underneath there. The newer lanyards are going to be shorter and thicker than this and a little safer, a little less likely to get caught under the cap. That's the GENX oil servicing system. Remember, it will take some time for the system to bleed down a little bit of oil, a little bit of pressure so that you can open the cap. Five to ten minutes should be sufficient. Don't wait more than 20 minutes. Take your time putting in the first quart of oil. And remember, be careful with the lanyard and the latch when you're going back together. Thanks for all you do out there to keep the GNX flying. We'll see you next time.